Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is such an exciting day because we are going strawberry picking and afterwards I'm gonna try and make it into a homemade strawberry jam so keep watching. So we're out here in this vast strawberry farm. We're picking strawberries. now home and I've brought the strawberries home with me. Look! They look so red and juicy and they are huge. Let's make them into jam. Before you start, make sure that you've sterilized your jam containers. So I've already done mine, I'm gonna take it out. So let's wash the strawberries first. I've already measured this and I'm using one kilogram of strawberries. You can use any amount of strawberries you want as long as it will be proportionate to the amount of jam sugar that you will be using later on. And then let's remove the stems of these strawberries. The stems or the leaves. So I was planning to have a jam with strawberry chunks so I thought I wouldn't slice this further but then I just saw how big they were so, and my jar is so tiny well it's not so tiny but it's in a medium size and I don't think this will fit very well so I will cut them into half we we'll also need two teaspoons of lemon juice Here is the jam sugar I'm going to use. I don't need to measure it because this one is already one kilogram, which is what we need. We need to heat a medium sized pan. Once it's hot, we are going to pour the strawberries into the pan and fry them for a few minutes. Be sure to keep stirring while we're frying the strawberries. It's now time to add two teaspoons of lemon juice and then the jam sugar. Make sure to stir it well until the sugar dissolves. to put on my apron earlier so I've got it on now so we are now going to check if all the sugar has been dissolved and a way to check it is to dip a spoon into the sauce and then check if there are no more sugar particles in the back of the spoon then you're good to go once all the sugar has been dissolved turn up the heat into medium high yeah and then wait for it to bubble and let it bubble for five minutes. Five minutes is up and I've turned off the heat and it's time to test if this jam is now ready. Let's now do the jam test. So even before I started, I placed a couple of saucers or plates in the freezer. Make sure that these plates are freezer compatible is that how you call it make sure they're safe for the freezer and so now it's time to take them out and we'll use them to test the jam we will put the jam at the back of the frozen plate oh i don't think this jam is ready because 
it should be sticking shouldn't be runny and then if you put your finger like that there should be a clear line oh wait there is a clear line so does that mean that my jam is ready i guess it's ready maybe it just needed time to adapt to the temperature before you do the line test it's time to put them inside our jars now this process would have been easier if i had a jam funnel unfortunately i only have the regular funnel and the hole in this one is not that large to fit the strawberry so it does take time i need to like shake it like that to help the strawberry get through the hole too much see this is what I was talking about <laughs> it's not draining just the strawberry stuck in there come on little strawberry don't be shy get out now we'll just leave the jam to set for a while I don't know how long, but I'll keep checking on it and I'll let you know how long I've waited for it to set. I just realized that I need to wait 24 to 48 hours for the jam to set. I didn't know that. I was just curious like how long it would take, so I searched it on Google and apparently it's 24 to 48 hours. Good thing is that I separated a little amount of jam because I really want to taste it so that's what it looks like let's see if it's jammy oh sorry I'm just using my fingers it hasn't set yet I just want to taste it this is a bad idea why did I just get a spoon Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Like, and the good thing about making this jam is the whole process, starting from picking it from the strawberry form and then making it here on my own. And this is the first time I've done it. So the recipe I used for today's strawberry jam is from Charlotte's Lively Kitchen .com. So. It's not my recipe because this is my first time doing it but I can tell you that I've tested it and it's a very good recipe it tastes so good and I'll see you I think tomorrow so we will find out if the jam will really set good morning it's now time to check if the jam has set and I have some scones with me to pair with the jam I've also bought some jam toppers in Hobbycraft and that's what I've done. There's a lid underneath and then I've just tied a string. And they look cute. I realized that I forgot to end this video so I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I had a lot of fun making this happen. I do hope to make more videos like this and if you had fun with me as well, please like and subscribe to my channel and then see you next time. Bye!